after you finish, guys, uh, I need you to go back to the previous uh, function. And uh, instead of employee, we need just to to make the source uh, our uh, list box. So uh, go and uh, remove employee from your uh, SQL uh, query. So instead of having my employee um, as a source for my SQL query, I'm going to uh, make the selected item in my list box is the source for the SQL query. So guys, here in this uh, in this method, I'm just selecting the table name from user tables. So uh, all tables I have uh, in user tables, I will get it. Uh, I'm just creating a reader object. Then I'm going I'm opening my connection here. Uh, actually, the command object is uh, I, I have to create it because it deals with object reader. So uh, I'm just after creating the reader, I'm saying. Ex uh, s uh, command dot execute reader, which means read line by line. Uh, here, after uh, reading my tables line by line, it will be all inside the reader. So, I need just to have a while loop to uh, go uh, one by one and add them to my list box item. Then I'm closing the reader. Uh, of course, if we got some problem, uh, the error message will be shown here. And finally, I'm closing my connection. Uh, then, as I told you guys, uh, instead of uh, uh, in the previous function, instead of having my source uh, fixed like employee, I can just make it. Uh, I can select my table from uh, my list box. So uh, once I, I run my program. So I have a bunch of tables here, so I, I can select any of them and run query, I will get the information inside this table. Very simple. So guys, we are selecting uh, all from uh, our table. So instead of having uh, uh, all or like uh, first name or last name or whatever, we can do the same idea by adding a new uh, list box and having all uh, our attributes inside this list box and do the same thing again and again. So by doing that, you can manipulate your uh, application and you can create any application you want. And I uh, encourage you to uh, to have a copy of your work so uh, in case you need it later. Uh, I'm going to stay here if you need any help.
because I want to make sure that all of you can run the program. Uh,